timekeeping in ancient Rome. For the Romans, the smallest unit of time was the hour. They divided day and night into 12 hours each, but because of the fact that the time between sunrise and sunset changed depending on the season, the length of an hour changed accordingly. So an hour for the Romans was not what it is for us today. A fixed and unchanging 60 minutes, each minute comprised of 60 seconds. In wintertime, an hour for the Romans lasted around 45 minutes, while in summer it lasted approximately 75 minutes. Also, midday was called meridias. The abbreviations AM and PM that are commonly used today stand for anti-meridium and post-meridium, before and afternoon. During the day, the Romans used sundials to tell the time, while at night they used clepsydrae or water clocks. In fact, the Roman army used water clocks to divide the night into four equal parts of three hours each, and in this way they organised night watches, or vigili. Those early versions of timekeeping may sound rather inaccurate today, but at that stage in history, the alternative would be to form an estimate by studying the position of the sun or the stars in the sky. As archaeological evidence suggests, there were numerous workshops and craftsmen who specialised in creating various types of ancient clocks at that time. One of the most famous clocks of antiquity is Andronicus Tower in Athens, Greece, which dates back to the 1st century BCE. Known as the Tower of the Winds, it features a large clepsydra and nine sundials on its exterior. 